Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches of the brand new Barium Sandstorm Baked Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. This palette retails at $12.99. I bought mine from Superdrug but you can also buy from Boots as well as Barium Direct and various other websites. For those of you that are not in the know or don't live in the UK, Barry M is a UK drugstore brand that started off mainly with nail polishes. They were the brand when I was a teenager that everybody went to to buy $2.99, $3.99 nail polishes that came in so many different colours and textures. And they have recently, over the past maybe two to three years, really branched out into makeup. Now they've always done makeup, but it was never that great. Sorry, Barry M. Um, but now they have definitely upped their game. I mean, their foundations, the shades are only about six, seven of them. They really need to increase that a lot but their eyeshadow palettes are amazing now please forgive me I actually do have another one of their eyeshadow palettes I think it's called the treasure chest one or something like that I filmed a review on it and I can't find the review that in that video just to let you guys know I gave the eyeshadow palette a 10 out of 10 and this one gets a 10 out of 10 too it is absolutely excellent because of the fact that the eyeshadows are baked it means that the colors are so 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 intense in pigment the matte shades are rich and easy to blend the metallics are full-on and intense and everybody will love this eyeshadow palette this one in particular is obviously very warm toned it goes with the name sandstorm you can create so many different types of looks I would definitely say that even though this is like a spring release this is the kind of eyeshadow palette would look amazing in the summer in the spring in the autumn as well as in the winter as well I mean these are the kind of shades that everybody loves to go for warm tones your day-to-day -day kind of looks that can be smoked out and you can wear them in the evening as well I'm actually using this eyeshadow palette today on my eyes just so that you guys could see rather than using your typical browns I went for a really smoky grey-ish kind of makeup look to go with my t-shirt hair yeah, but I absolutely love this palette. I love that there is a very nice mix of mattes and metallics. So you've got loads of different types of crease shades as well as lid shades, as well as highlight brow bone shades, tear duct shades. And there is definitely something for everybody in here. I love the quality of this. Baked products in general definitely have a much more intense um, payoff when it shows up on your skin. And this one definitely does not fail at all. Altogether, there are 18 shades of $12.99. Can't go wrong. It comes in just a very standard, simple plastic case. It would have been nice if maybe there was a mirror in here. But then I suppose on the upside is you can actually see all the shades on here. But let's not forget it is drugstore. So they do kind of spend more money I would say on the product rather than on the packaging and I'm personally one of those people who hates that some brands charge so much more so for the packaging than the actual product itself because as a consumer you're paying for all of it including the typography. The only thing that I would say is that because they are baked shadows the metallics in particular they're very very thick and buttery if you press your brush in too hard chunks will come off similar to for example as the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows the metallic ones even some of the Huda Beauty ones the thicker more metallic more intense ones can come off in chunks so just bear that in mind when you press your brush in to be very gentle and then apply it to the lid and then build it up rather than trying to get all your eyelid work done with that one swipe yes it can be done but bits will fly off and then you're wasting basically so this is what it looks like up close as you can very clearly see a lot of the metallic shades of mine like i've said have got dents in them because you do have to be gentle when applying them but this is how they look they've got a nice little design in there and a really nice variety of warm toned shades with maybe one or two cool ones like this silver one silvery gray one here which is the one i'm wearing on my lid today so i'm going to swatch these all for you now i'm going to start from here and then go to the right so they don't have any names obviously so we're just going to call them by number so this first one here number one so this one is a really pretty kind of plumish mauve metallic shade pigmentation is excellent color payoff is amazing this next shade number two so this one is a very pale kind of off peach matte shade again it's very very pigmented as you can see but unfortunately on deep skin that will show up quite ashy and even on my medium skin it kind of shows up but obviously that's a thick swatch on my hand what I've been doing is I've been using this as an all over lid shade just to kind of set my primer and make my eyelids nice and soft before I apply further eyeshadows. This shade is number three. 
This one is another matte shade, so intense. It's like a beautiful, very rich orange red shade. Amazing for the spring and summer months. This shade is number four. This one is another matte shade. And as you can see, it's a cool toned, deep kind of dirty looking brown. Great for smoking out any look that you have or use it on your lower lash line. This shade is number five. This one is definitely one of my most favorite shades and as you can see, it's definitely one of the most pigmented. It's a metallic, gorgeous, coppery bronze gold. Would look amazing on all skin tones, but in particular, deep, medium skin tones. This shade is number six. This shade is not too dissimilar to shade number two over there, but this one is more of an ivory shade. Again, I've just been using it all over my eyes or to blend out other deeper shades. This shade is number seven. I absolutely love this shade. This is what I'm using on my brow bone and my tear duct today. It's another metallic shade. It's a very intense kind of silvery white shade. It's absolutely stunning. Would look amazing all over the lid as well. This shade is number eight. This is a beautiful matte bright orange shade. Would look amazing on all skin tones, especially if you combined it with this shade number three. It would look amazing on the eyes. This shade here is number nine. That's what I'm wearing on my lid today. This one is another gorgeous metallic shade. It's definitely a bright kind of gray silver shade. Look amazing for smoky eyes. This shade is number 10. So this is another metallic shade. Again, it's not too dissimilar to this one here. The only difference is this one has got a little bit more yellow to it. So, and the, whereas this one is a little bit more cool toned. So you can always switch it up depending on what kind of toned look you're going for that day. But I love this, it's a really soft kind of color. This shade is number 11. And this one is a beautiful deep terracotta shade. Again, it's matte like some of the other ones. Look at it, it's such a pretty color that will look amazing on all skin tones. Heavily pigmented, easy to blend. This shade is number 12. And this one is a deep plummy kind of color. Again, like a lot of other plums, you can see that it is not as rich as the other ones because it is one of those plum tones which is a little bit difficult to blend out and it requires a lot more work. This one is number 13. 13 is not too dissimilar from 12, but if you look up close, you can definitely see that this one has a little bit more brown and this one has a little bit more plum to it. And that and this one appears to a blend a lot better than the previous one. But again, it helps in terms of what kind of look you're going for. That's why there are quite a few fairly similar colors in here, but not too familiar. This is number 14. This is another metallic shade. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's like a gorgeous soft peachy gold, intense metallic and easy to blend. This color is number 15. This color here is one of my favorites. I'm actually using it on my eyes today. It's such a beautiful kind of slightly off mauve shade. It's also matte, making it easy to blend out so many different colors. This shade is number 16. This one is a really pretty peachy pink sort of shade. Believe it or not, it did actually show up on my eyes. I actually used that first in the crease, followed by this shade, and they worked really nicely together. This one in particular helped to blend out the edges of that shade. But if you have got very deep skin, obviously that will show up very gray on you. This shade is number 17. And it's got great pigmentation and everything. It's just on my skin tone. I just didn't find it very flattering on me. It made my eyes look kind of dirty, if that makes sense. But obviously, if you're not my skin tone, you may love it. And then last but not least, shade number 18 on the end. All right, I'm having to stand way back. <laughs> so this last shade here is like a dirty lavender. It's like a mixture of dark blue mixed with some sort of grayish plum shade. It's a metallic shade. Again, will look amazing to do smoky eyes with, but it is intensely pigmented and gorgeous. Okay, I'm back. My arm's clean, a little bit red, but clean. So yes, what else can I say about this? I would always recommend using primer regardless of whether you are interested in whether something creases or not. The whole point of using primer is not just to stop creasing, but also it intensifies the color. It stops any fading, any flaking, throughout the day and it makes it look a lot more intense and rich plus using primer to neutralize your natural eye color will mean certain shades that would not necessarily go with your bare skin tone 
will definitely stand out and pop a lot more. Uh, the colours don't change at all, they don't fade, they perform just as good as high-end eyeshadows and I think it's absolutely excellent and really worth the money if you are interested or if you are on the market for a kind of warm toned eyeshadow palette and especially an everyday kind of palette because there are so many everyday looks in here that so many people can go for and especially if you are beauty on a budget $12.99 for 18 eyeshadows is excellent so that's it for my review and swatches of the Barry M Sandstorm eyeshadow palette hope you guys enjoy the review like comment make sure you subscribe if you haven't if you have thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video bye